to a new video. In today's video, I am going to be using Madame Glam gel polishes. And I've got some nice, I've got some gorgeous pastels there. And I'm going to be using these, oh, just the cutest little bunny decals. These are uh, quite, I think these are the latest um, new decals. No, they're not. They're not. I think these were the last. Anyway, they're decals from Nail Sugar. <laughs> <laughs> they're quite newish on the website, but I don't think they're the latest ones. That those bunnies look like they're praying. How cute are they? I love them. Right, anyway, we're going to be using those. The, um, I can say the nail sugar. The Madam Glam colours we're using today are Cupid, Spring Petals, and Perfect White. So these are, um, these are the older gel polishes. The ones that I'm showing you here, I Lime You lemon pie viola and i think it's blueberry cream no or is it sweetness i can't remember blueberry cream these the last four there that i just showed you are all from the new macaron collection which is absolutely amazing i love it you can get 30 percent off madam glam using my code natmug30 and look that's just one coat Oh, the white is amazing. Um, and you can get 10% off nail sugar decals and glitters and anything else on the website using code NATMUG10. But all the links to websites and discount codes will be in the description box below. So go and have a look. Right, on this first nail, we are applying one coat of white. We will pop it in our LED lamp, cure it for 30 seconds. I think I do actually put two coats on though I don't really know that I needed it, but because this is going to be our decal now, de the decals will always show up better in um, on a white background, just so that you know. They will, they'll always be more vivid on a white background. Um, I'm using a stamper, and I've just squished it with my sellotape just to get any fluff off, and then I'm placing the decal on the stamper, and image down and then using some water i'm going to dab it onto the back of the decal now when i do my decals i like to remove as much of the excess background as i can so i kind of snip up as close to the image as possible and then i have like less i don't know what you call it i don't know it's just easier if you make the image as small as it can possibly be and then look, eventually it only takes about 20 seconds. The backing will slide off and you can see your image is on the stamper ready to stamp onto your nail. Um, if you've got any excess water, just carefully dab it off with a lint-free wipe and then you can stamp it onto your nail. And the bunny is so cute. I love the bunny so much. Talking about stamping, um, I'm going to be doing a stamping video soon. Um... Yeah, I'm quite excited about the stamping. <laughs> right, I'm going over now with some matte top coat. And that is not the nail finished, but that is it finished for now. We're going to add some crystals on it later. Okay, so the next nail I'm going to do is going to be a marble. I feel like I haven't done a marble gel polish nail forever. Um, I'm going in with the white. So I'm only going to put one coat of white on because this is going to be the colour in the background. So if we have any patches where the gel polish marble doesn't go, then you'll just see the white through if that makes sense, but that's fine, I don't mind. And then on my palette, all of the other colours that I got out, bar the white, I'm making a line across my palette so that we are ready to use those for our... I don't know what I was going to call it. I don't know what I was going to say then, and then I couldn't think of what the word was for our marble. <laughs> You also will need a flat brush or an ombre brush. I use the ombre brush. Where have I gone? What am I doing here? Oh, here we go. Just the last one is the pink one. I was like, hang on a minute. Where has she gone? Right, there we go. Um, also, if you have Madame Glam's Blooming Gel, place some Blooming Gel on the nail before you go in with your marble. The Blooming Gel just helps the marble spread. Um, you can use base coat to do this. Don't cure this, by the way. Um, but I feel like the blooming gel is just, it just makes the, the gel polish just spread a lot, pardon me, a lot better than what base coat does. 
So as you can see, I'm scooping up the colours and I will, what's the word? You kind of float it over. Don't brush it on because it doesn't work as well. Um, I'm going in from the other way because I just felt like we weren't getting enough blue on that nail. Um, and I'm just sort of like, look, gently floating it over. And I've done this a little bit differently. I kind of went from left to right, from right to left to left to right, and then I filled in the gaps. I normally do it always, always do it the same way, and I think I prefer it the same way. I just thought I'd try it differently this time. Oh, and also, before you cure it, if you have a gloved finger, dab the side with your finger, and that will pull off any excess gel polish, and it will just stop wrinkling. Um, but yeah, just, just, just a good note to know. Um, right, this next nail, I've done um a coat of white you might want to do two because we are only we're gonna do like a a french marble nail this with this one right i've gone in with some blooming gel but only about two thirds of the way up the nail and i'm doing exactly the same thing as i did with the previous nail sorry i do find in this video that i am down the bottom quite a lot and i don't mean to be and then before we cure it i'm just using my cleanup brush to i don't know what that is on my finger there's something yellow on my i'm not a smoker it looks like i'm a smoker but i'm really not i don't know what it is right i'm just using it again look i've gone too far down south i'm just using my cleanup brush to clean up my smile line now you can make your smile line as deep or as shallow as you want. Again, it's all personal preference. But before you cure it, dab off the side again. And then pop in the lamp. So there we go, that's going to go in the lamp now. And then the last nail, I'm going to use blueberry cream. I felt like I needed to do a blue because I think a lot of, I don't know, a lot of my nails lately, I just feel like I've been more pink. But they probably haven't i don't know so i thought right we'll do two coats this now is going to be two coats of blueberry cream again 30 seconds in an led lamp i done two coats of this one obviously <coughs> and i faffed around a lot <laughs> obviously there we go finally she's going to put it into the lamp okay and then the time has come where we're going to top coat. And I am going to do all of these matte. I feel like all I've done lately is matte. And I'm sorry if you don't like matte, but you can do yours glossy. Don't feel like just because I do matte, you have to do matte because that is really not the case. It's all personal preference. Horses for courses. Right, there we go. That's going to go into the lamp for 30 seconds. I must see if I can, if I've got another velvet mat. I don't know that I have, but I really must see because I love the velvet mat. It's lovely. Right in the lamp, 30 seconds. And then on this blue nail, we're going to add some flowers. Now, they didn't go quite to plan. <laughs> um, well, they, they kind of did and they didn't. The second one, I had to wipe off and start again, but I didn't record the second one anyway. But what I'm doing is... I'm kind of doing some daisy type flowers so i will put a blob on and then i will you look you can't see because i've stupidly gone out and then i will bring the product into the center of where the center of the flower is going to be but i don't want the petals to touch i want there to be a gap between the sides and the middle oh nats why why are you doing this in the video uh, can you see? Can you see what I'm doing? Now, the outside edge of the petal is going to be thicker. And then as the petal goes in towards the center of the nail, it will get thinner. Okay? Like this. You can see better now. Because I'm just on the edge of the screen. And if you want to make the petals thicker, you can. But you'll obviously need fewer petals because you'll have less space. The ones that I done here just ended up quite thin. So I thought, right, we'll call them daisies, even though daisies are white. And this is a kind of purpley, lilac-y pink. But once I've finished, I have got some sugar dust. This is from Nail Sugar, and it's an old product that she doesn't... Karen doesn't have these on the website anymore. And I want her to get some more in. <laughs> so if you like the look of this stuff... um. 
and you want to purchase some, let us know down below. But look, it's super fine and it just saves you having to buy acrylic. You can buy this instead. If you don't use acrylic, you can use this. And I've just sprinkled it into the uncured gel polish. I'm just letting it soak in a bit. And then I will pop it into the lamp for 60 seconds because I do like to double cure when I sugar or, um, you know, and, and then look, you're, you're left up, you're left with this, like, cause it's super fine. It looks in, it looks in, it just looks lovely. And I've done a little pink one down the bottom as well. And I thought that was quite cute. Anyway, for the crystals, um, I'm using Preciosa crystals today, round flat backs, non hot fix ones. They are just plain non hot fix crystals. Um, I've got light sapphire. John Quill is that pale yellow. I love John Quill. Um, this pale green is called Chrysolite. I love this one as well. And then we have got light rose. I've just ordered some more of these and the John Quill ones because I'm getting quite low. Um, yeah, light rose is this lovely pink. And then these ones are violet. These are a really gorgeous soft lilac. And then I'm also going to be using white opal. Okay, so I'm using Nail Camille's Crystal Totalist Gem Glue and I've dipped it into the gem glue on the end of my Scarlet Pro, Scarlet Center Crystal Pro. And I've just put some, yeah, I've put it in the center of the flowers and then on top of the gem glue, I'm going to place a uh, an opal crystal. There we go. So that will be the flowers finished. The next nail here, I am adding the gem glue around the smile line. I don't know why, but I always feel like when I do when I do nails with smile lines, I always feel like like if I left it, I would just feel like it was unfinished unless it was like a a proper french, you know, a pink or white french. I don't know what it is. So I'm I'm going to use the crystals to cover up the smile line and it just adds a little bit of bling to the set and adds a bit more color because these crystals are absolutely lovely i love them and on this one i have got the crystals the bigger crystals in the middle and then as I, as we work our way up the crystals sort of shrinken shrinken they shrink inside they shrinken <laughs> they shrink in size there we go and it looks a bit like a necklace but it's not it's not supposed to be. I don't know what it's supposed to be. Anyway, and then I'm going to do the same because I felt like the bunny needed a little bit of sparkle. So I'm just going to do like uh, what you'd sort of call, would call a crystal cuff, I suppose, with uh, crystals around the cuticle area. And like before, we'll start with the bigger crystal in the center. And then as we work our way around the top of the nail, the crystals will get smaller. And then at the very end... I do place a caviar bead like I did with the smile line now. You don't have to add caviar beads if you don't want to. Again, it's personal preference. Normally I add them between the crystals, but I'm not doing it with this set. There we go. I'm just going to leave it like that. So the, the gem glue needs 60 seconds in an LED lamp. And this is the finished set. I hope you like it. If you did, please leave me a like. If you haven't already, do consider subscribing. It is completely free, completely free, and you can always change your mind later. By the way, if you wanted to do another nail, I would do a full colour nail with some more flowers, I think. Yeah, to make the set. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching, and I will see you beautiful lot in the next one. God bless.